for again welcoming us here as uh, it has been taking place now our visit here in the last three years and it has been a pleasure for us to come and to uh, introduce this aspect of satsang, this aspect of yoga, Jan yoga, and to somehow um, make it available and understandable the simplicity and the directness of Jan yoga. And uh, yesterday, I suppose many of you were here uh, for this small taste of how easy it is when the heart is open, mind is open, to receive some form of guidance, when the heart of someone who has a yearning to find a peace that is <coughs> um, unchanging, a peace that is not connected with uh, uh, activity and the sustaining of uh, activity in order to attain peace. That peace joy, love, wisdom, compassion, understanding. All of these are synonymous with the awakened mind or the self. And so I have not really come to make any speeches about it into the heart's energy. But very often, in the most cases, we only believe and that there is experience which come and go, which belongs to time. So that at some point you will say, I had this experience. But in real understanding and in the awakened self, mind, uh, nothing is spoken about as past. Everything is here, everything is now. So it is the mind or the egoic mind's tendency and habit to speak always past and future always relating through time and change. But for real understanding to blossom in the heart, you must discover that which is beyond time. Beyond time. And don't feel that this is some abstract, you know, very foreign concept. You are beyond time. Your real nature is beyond time. Our dynamic expression, our acting nature is in touch straight uh, to that. So I'm opening up now this entire field, uh, this energy field of uh, satsang, uh, to those who feel they would like to uh, discover more and uh, welcome to uh, this satsang today. Okay, I see a hand here. Please come and do my phone.